Hi, my name is Jordan Fournier. I'm a product manager here at Bloom US, and today I'm going to show you how to assemble and install a Leggerbox drawer. Now that you have your Leggerbox hardware, let's walk through how to prepare the wood components of your Leggerbox drawer. Each drawer consists of three wood pieces, a bottom, a back, and a front. We'll begin by preparing the drawer bottom. Leggerbox drawer bottoms are made with 16 millimeter material. You'll first need to measure your inside cabinet width, as shown here. To calculate the width of your drawer bottom, use the formula inside cabinet width minus 35 millimeters. To calculate the length of the drawer bottom, use the formula actual cabinet profile length minus 10 millimeters. A rabbit is needed on both sides of the drawer bottom. The rabbit will be 8 millimeters deep, 38 millimeters wide, and run the length of the bottom. We recommend pre-drilling the first two holes on both sides of the drawer bottom which are used to secure the bottom to the drawer profiles. Although recommended, this step is not required. The horizontal drilling distance for the bottom hole is 48.5 millimeters and the vertical drilling distance is 24 millimeters. The top hole is 128 millimeters above the bottom hole. The dimensions for these holes are consistent across all Leggerbox applications. Now that the drawer bottom is ready for assembly, we'll move on to preparing the drawer back. Like the bottom, the back is made from 16 millimeter material. To calculate the width of the drawer back, use the formula inside cabinet width minus 38 millimeters. The drawer back height is always a fixed dimension based on the Leggerbox drawer side height, as shown in this chart. Again, we recommend pre-drilling the holes on both sides of the drawer back, which are used to secure the rear fixing brackets. These pre-drilled hole dimensions are dependent on your specific Leggerbox drawer side height. Now that the drawer bottom and back are ready, we can prepare our final wood component, the drawer front. Since the dimensions of the front are dependent on your specific cabinet, I'll only be demonstrating how to find the hole locations for the front fixing brackets. We'll be using two simple formulas to find the correct location for the front fixing brackets. First, to find the bottom hole vertical drilling distance, use the formula 51 millimeters plus bottom overlay. Second, to find the bottom hole horizontal drilling distance, use the formula 14 millimeters plus side overlay. Each hole should be 10 millimeters in diameter and 12 millimeters deep. The distance between the holes is dependent on your specific Leggerbox application. Now that the wood components are ready, let's assemble our Leggerbox drawer. Along with the wood components, you will need a set of Leggerbox rear fixing brackets, drawer profiles, front fixing brackets, and cabinet profiles. The first step is to attach the rear fixing brackets to the drawer back. Rear fixing brackets are left and right handed, identified with an L or R on the back of each bracket. Line the top of the rear fixing bracket flush with the top of the drawer back, and fasten down the bracket using number 6 by half inch truss head screws. Repeat this process on the other side. Once the drawer back is assembled, attach the drawer back to the rear of each drawer profile. Slide the drawer bottom into place between the drawer profiles. Make sure that the drawer bottom's pre-drilled holes are at the front of the drawer. Carefully turn the drawer over and pull the bottom slightly forward until it is flush with the front of each drawer profile. Use number 6 by half inch truss head screws to fasten the drawer profiles to the drawer bottom. Now, attach the front fixing brackets to the drawer front. When fastening down the front fixing brackets, make sure each expando dowel is fully inserted into the pre-drilled holes. Be sure not to over tighten the screws. Finally, attach the drawer front to the drawer box. Now that the drawer box is fully assembled, I'll go through how to install the cabinet profiles into your cabinet. For all overlay legger box applications, the third hole of the drawer profile is 37 millimeters back from the face of the cabinet. The distance between the third and ninth hole is 224 millimeters. The vertical spacing between the cabinet profiles is dependent on the specific design of your cabinet. To install the drawer box, start by fully extending both cabinet profiles. Rest the drawer box on the cabinet profiles and push the drawer all the way into the cabinet until you hear an audible click, which means the drawer box is connected to both cabinet profiles. Replicate this process for the rest of the drawers in your cabinet. If you have any more questions about Leggerbox or any of our other products, 
please visit our website for the most up-to-date information. Links are in the description below.